Well, hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. This week, Joan and I are at Bird's Branch Campground in Elkin, North Carolina, right in the heart of Yadkin County. Oh, I can't wait to show you this campground and this week of fun that we have planned. Well, hi, this is Jerry. This week, Joan and I are at Bird's Branch Campground in Elkin, North Carolina. We found this campground about a year ago, had not stayed here. We were up uh, north of us, about 30 minutes, up at Mount Airy doing all things Andy, if you've seen that video. And uh, we had a day left over in our travels before we headed south, and we found there was some wine country around here. We visited a couple of the vineyards and ran into a couple that was staying at Bird's Branch. And they said, look, if you want to do the wine tour thing and do all the hiking that's in the area, this is the place to stay. You will not be disappointed. They are absolutely right. This is a beautiful, quaint little campground, just maybe five, six minutes off the interstate but uh, pretty, 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 fantastic access to a number of walking trails. I will be showing those videos to you later on after this, is, this video is completed. And um, wine country, oh my gosh, there's 30 spectacular vineyards in the area. Joan and I are gonna try to cram as many as we can in uh, this week. I'm really excited to show you this pretty, pretty campground and uh, the surrounding area in the upcoming weeks. Let's look at this place. Well, here's the campground. It is a mixture of back ends and very, very large pull-throughs. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got a 40-foot with a ton truck or the largest 45-foot Prevost that is made in America, you're gonna fit. Uh, these sites that you're seeing down here are uh, back ends and they are water and electric only. But one of the benefits that I'll show you about this is this is your backyard, Bird's Branch. It really is one, isn't it? And I'll just walk down here. It's uh, early, early March, first week of March. And they've placed uh, fire pits that you can set up. Yes, yes, those are daffodils that are blooming early March. That's shirt sleeve weather. And there's the pretty bird's branch. Look at that, isn't that something? You can kind of hear it trickling along. And then again, from these back end sites, um, well here, I'll show you what fits in here quite well. Uh, we have a couple visitors that are here in the area today. Uh, there's a, a good size little Class C and they've got a little Kia pull behind that you see over there. And then uh, next to them is a little sunset camper that uh, those folks have backed in. So it'll handle, I don't know, what, maybe 24 to maybe even 30 feet. That's a good guess. You can ask the owners when you call. But I do want to show you this little area before I start walking around and showing you the campsites. It's, uh, yeah, you're right. It is some kind of pretty, isn't it? Oh, this is nice. And uh, there was a group here last night that uh, had them a big bonfire and they were making North Carolina chicken stew. Something very Yadkin County specific. All right, let's walk up here and let me show you where we're camped at and then I'll show you some of the other sites. Well, you can see the camping store that's up there. And if you're staying in these lower sites, these back end sites, these are water and electric only uh, but they've got dump stop uh, dump station up there and rinse out and that type of thing that you can take advantage of access in here super easy big rig friendly no problem you can just tool right in the sites are very level we didn't have to do a thing uh, to level off side to side uh, a teeny bit of slope in these pull throughs but nothing you know, nothing substantial. Uh, got us a little Bambi over there. I love those things. That's a, that's a great camper, isn't it? And uh, here you see uh, the Gray Wonder and our gateway. And again, we didn't have to do anything side to side. They're not too close together. Um, you know, again, we came here more for the destination than we did the campground. But, uh, you know, if you want that woodsy feel, 
you do have it over there. There's those smaller campers. But uh, these pull-through sites are huge. I would say, I would say maybe, and this is a guess, I would say maybe 120 feet, maybe even more. You know, there's the truck, uh, there's the camper, and um, I, I can park front or back. These things are massive. There's my lights, if you haven't seen that video. You wanna make you some camping lights. <laughs> All the sites have uh, relatively new picnic tables. And they put fire rings out here. Um, there's the uh, X2 satellite dish. I had a fantastic, fantastic view, unencumbered, um, the, you know, to, to get my satellite TV. And then uh, you can see they have, uh, you know, some back ends down here in the end. Let's walk around. I'll give you some numbers. Um, so where we are parked right here, this is 10, 11, if you're looking for the big sites. 11, and these are, these are full hookup, 50 water sewer. 11, 10, the Airstream Bambi is a 9. And then you've got uh, number 8 that's there. Okay, that's those. Here is a nice pull-through site that uh, we had a, a Class A in this morning. And they've already left. This is a water and electric only. This is site 12. Nice thing about this, if this is what you want, is there's nobody around you. You've got plenty of privacy. Uh, you've got your picnic table and your fire ring over here and uh, you throw the canopy out and you've got your own private campground. <laughs> Look at that with the, the pretty farm fields that are over there. It's really nice. It's really nice. I'll do a slow pan just so you can just really see. They have some... Look, if you're tent campers, I know there's a few of you who watch that enjoy that. I'm going to walk over and show you the tent camping as well. Rates here are fantastic, and uh, we really like it. Show you a couple other positives as, as you start looking at this as a possible option. One of the things I'm going to be taking advantage of, aside from all the great wine tours uh, that are here in the area, is walking trails. There's uh, two great walking trails that are right here from the campground. One is going up in the direction that I'll show you in just a minute to Carter Falls. I'll be showing you that as uh, I get that video made. And then going off on this side is another about a mile and a half uh, walk to Grassy Creek. And I've been told if you stick with it, you end up at Grassy Creek Vineyard. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that one too. Let me uh, take you across the road here and I want to show you the pretty tent sites that they have over here as well. This is really nice. And then they've got playgrounds over here for the kids and just all kinds of neat stuff. I'm showing you where I just came from. Uh, there's the campground over there for, um, you know, all the big campers, big and small. And there's the little fire pit and outdoor area for uh, Bird's Branch. And then directly across the road is a, a handful of tent sites. Let me tell you, these are pretty, pretty, pretty little tent sites. I just love this little park area that they've created down here with the branch and the bridge and little pond, seating area, swings for the kids. Um, now they do have uh, up here on top of the hill, uh, that's the office that's up there. They have a few camping supplies up there, firewood, etc., that you can obtain. They also have uh, showers for men and women, bath facilities, those types of things. And, uh, and then, again, if you just don't want to make the trek up the hill, you know, in the middle of the night, <laughs> and you got to do what you got to do, uh, they do provide a, um, you know, a toilet facility down here in the base. Um, this is mostly playground area here for the kids and picnic tables and this is kind of like a you know kind of like a walk walk through path um, I'll show you a, a couple of the tent sites here uh, just in case you know sometimes I know I've heard from others that watch our channel um, mom and dad brings a smaller camper and the kids like to stay in a tent and this is ideal for that 
and uh, they get a, a bit of an outdoor feel here that's in the area and you're right along this pretty branch and look at this branch you know it just kind of crooks and turns to this area isn't this pretty i gotta tell you i love this so here's your you know here's your camping sites and they got fire rings and you know they're very level put your little gravel spot out so things don't get too wet isn't that nice big fire rings and then they've got a couple over there across the way it's really nice I want to give you an aerial view of the campground Well, you know how I am about loving scenery. I just got to show you. I don't know how long it'll be here, but uh, all the pretty daffodils have bloomed on the hill. Look at this. I bet I'll find some on some of the trails as I go to. We're just, just barely, barely getting a touch of spring. I am so glad to see it. All right. Let's head on down the path. So let me mention a couple things about Birds Branch Campground. Number one, prices are reasonable, super big rig friendly, minutes, minutes off the interstate. And then your close access to everything that you need in Elkins only, you know, less than 10 minutes away, five to 10 minutes away, big Ingles, Walmarts, um, you know, the, the necessary shopping things that you'll want tons of restaurants uh, that have really sprung up in the area this is becoming um, quite a destination for wine drinkers foodies um, people who like that type of thing bike trails galore this is one of the things i just loved about coming to the campground when we checked in they gave us two sheets of paper they clustered all the vineyards together of what was close together all the restaurants all the shopping all the trails that were for hiking all the trails that were good for biking and they gave that to us and it just saved saved us so much time in research and what was knowing in the you know what was available in the area and that was a massive benefit to us one thing i will mention 15 miles up the road is stone mountain north carolina and that's a beautiful state park and you can hike through the the mountain and over the mountain if you choose to do that we've run out of time we're not going to be able to do that this trip we'll just save that one for the next um as far as availability, it's a very popular campground. Again, we're here first week of March. So, um, you know, you can, you can get you a site here with no problem whatsoever. That's gonna change in April. First of all, you have Merle Fest, which is a big bluegrass festival that's just minutes down the road. They're booked. As a matter of fact, my understanding is every campground in the area is booked. You might wanna call and see if there's something available, wait list, something like that. Also, spring, and summer and fall are their popular times. They are saying that the weekends get full very, very quick. So if you're wanting to come in the area and experience some of that um, beautiful Elk in North Carolina and the vineyards and all the things that are available here, be sure and call for reservations. Plenty of time, book early and uh, that way you'll have a greater opportunity for being able to stay at pretty pretty birds branch i love this campground <laughs> and, and you know it i love rv life too mm -hmm. 